Thanks, Mike. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ronak Tabrawal, Product Manager at Juniper Networks. My first time at NFD, but I hope to know you, all of you, by the end of the day. So I'll double click on EngNet. Like Mike mentioned, um, automation has technology aspects, people aspects, and process aspects. With EngNet, we're hoping that we can solve the consumption side of the automation um, charter. So agenda, I have a couple of slides on the overview, what EngNet is, why we're doing it, objective, etc. Then we'll go into the portal, I'll walk you through, and then a couple of slides before I hand over to Matt to talk more about NRE Labs. So Juniper EngNet, what is it? What is our objective? Um, what are we trying to do with it? So EngNet is Juniper Engineering Network. It's a web-based portal um, which aggregates a lot of our automation content resources. And um, the objective, of course, is to elevate the development aptitude of the operator community out there. The way we do it is by organizing all the content based on three big pillars, learn, build, explore. So we have a big section on EngNet that's catered towards learning resources, and I'll show you what it is. Then we have another section which has all the developer resources that are required to build a tool, build an application, right from API references, uh, sample code, uh, virtual sandbox, virtual labs, etc. And then the third big piece, the explore element, that's kind of centered around an automation exchange, which is like a catalog of cool applications and open source projects that have been uh, gathered by the, from the community. So I'll show you that too. And all of these pieces are stitched together uh, by a community. That's why a dedicated Slack channel. So yeah, let's see it in action. Yeah, so that's the homepage and um, the portal eng.juniper.net. It's pretty easy to navigate, so I won't go into each of the pages. It's intuitive, but overall, uh, the structure of the portal is centered around the theme learn, build, explore. Anybody who's new to EngNet and um, doesn't know what it is, what it has to offer, the overview page has a good description of all that we have here. So it's about get started, start learning, join the community, Build, build your applications, uh, contribute to the exchange, and engage with the team on the events. So now, the first big pillar, that's the learn section. So the learn section comprises of all the resources that we're offering uh, for people to learn more about the automation technologies. And again, uh, it's further divided into two sections, assisted learning and self-learning. So assisted learning is basically offerings that we have um, that enable you to learn, and there is some assistance in the form of, you know, maybe tutorials or uh, instructor-led courses. That's what uh, Juniper Edge Services does. And of course, Matt will go deep into NRE Labs, which is aimed at learn by doing in the browser. So it's a pretty cool tool, we'll show you. And then of course, there's Open Lab Learning Series, which is webinars. So these are some things um, that we have under the assisted learning category. Of course, NRE Labs is new. The other two we've had for a while. Under the self-learning section, we have a mix of resources. Uh, first category of resources are virtual resources like VSRX, VMX, VQFX, which you can download, get an eval license, slam it together, and then try it out. And then the other form is Contrail and AppFormix, where we've put them on the cloud, and you can actually log in and uh, book a slot and take these products for a spin. And then, of course, there's, there's another offering, VLabs, where we have a host of um, Juno's automation sandboxes and topologies. So you just don't need to set up your own development environment. Go straight in, try it out, deserve your topology. <clears throat> that's about the learn part. If you look at the build, that's where all the uh, developer resources are hosted. Yeah, so if you go to build and look at operating system and Juno's, so this is what you see. The resources are further categorized into uh, control plane automation, management plane automation, and data plane automation. Now going into the control plane stuff, we talk about JET. The JET is Juniper Extension Toolkit. We, we spoke about it at NFD last year. And what you see here is all API references, API documentation. And let me quickly show you. So we've actually now started adding um, sample code, et cetera, in the documentation itself to make it much more consumable. Coming back to the JET page, beyond documentation, what we've also done is we've uh, set up a topology on our virtual labs where you have a virtual instance with JET installed and a few VMXs, and the topology is created 
So a user could just go in, reserve it, and try it out instead of having to set up his own environment. So that's, that's there. Besides, uh, there are several applications that we've built using the JET toolkit. So, uh, and those are hosted on GitHub, so there's a pointer to that. Some curated videos, and of course, the developer downloads. Another uh, product we have on Nginet is Contrail HealthBot. It's our health and uh, network health monitoring and diagnostic solution. So similar to JET, we have all the assets related to HealthBot here. Uh, we also have an instance on the cloud, HealthBot connected to a few VMXs, you know, to uh, try it out in real time. And then we've also written a lot of HealthBot playbooks, which are like uh, files which define what the HealthBot product should do in terms of monitoring, what KPIs, what rules, et cetera. And uh, there's a pointer to that. And then, of course, there are a lot of videos, use, videos of use cases, videos of the product overview, et cetera. And then the developer downloads. And what you saw were Jet and Contrail HealthBot, but uh, we're folding in more and more products here so that uh, it's more consumable from a developer perspective. The big piece, another big piece, is the automation exchange under the Explore. So what we've done here is that uh, there are a lot of open source projects that we have. What we've done is we've aggregated them all, added a lot of metadata to each of those projects, and submitted them into this exchange. So what it means is um, clicking on a particular um, application, this is what the page looks like. So you have the application, you have a link to the repository, you have reviews from people, you also have a lot of metadata in terms of which market segment is this applicable to, what operational processes is applicable to, et cetera. And uh, there's an option for the user community to go and contribute. So there is a contribution form. If there is a, a project uh, done by any community member, they can just go in and submit it and uh, have more eyeballs. Back on the automation exchange, of course, there are a lot of entries out there. So there's a, a, a little filter menu on the left-hand side that allows you to filter the applications based on market segment, operational process, and various other uh, filters. So yeah, those were the big pieces, and all of them is stitched together with the community, and that's here. You could sign up and log into the Slack channel. We have about 430 plus members currently active on the channel. And of course, a lot of the content on Nginet uh, if I would say most of the content on Nginet is free, so nobody needs to um, set up an account really, but there are a few resources that need you to be logged in, and for that you need a Juniper.net account. If you have one, great. If you don't have one, it's very easy to get one using the sign-up process on the portal. So yeah, that's, that's about it on the portal walkthrough. Um, coming back on the slides. So we launched Nginet about five months ago, that's October last year, and um, we've, seen, we've seen very good traction, and that's keeping us pretty motivated. So uh, we're investing more, and we've planned a few events, and also a lot of um, enhancements to the portal. So in terms of the events, um, we're doing beer and gear at the upcoming Nanog next week, and then we're planning to do a hackathon in the ne next Nanog. Also, in terms of the baseline portal, I showed you the automation exchange, the automation catalog. We're planning to move that or upgrade that to a marketplace kind of model with partner support ecosystem. So that's one. Also, we're looking at uh, including more technologies on Nginet, onboarding more technologies. And also, we're looking at how we can help the current user base by doing beta launches via Nginet. So that's getting beta software out early. So yeah, those are some things we're doing and um, uh, give you an overview of the portal. But really, the objective is to elevate the development aptitude of the operator community, and we hope Nginet is able to help us to, with that goal.